behind us we have got the Christchurch Amateur Radio Club and their mobile vehicle and these guys are here connecting with International Space Station orbit passes that are coming over Hagley Park. This is one part of a series of processes that uh, comprise our contribution to the biennial. So what's going on um, here today as part of this event uh, includes two kinds of transmission. Um, so we have the Amateur Radio Club in conjunction with the ISS passes attempting to make contact. We also have a series of recordings um, that we've uh, selected from the New Zealand Sound Archive who are one of the partners in this, in this project. We have a recording designated for each pass. That recording uh, is played and gets mixed with the sound of the um, ham radio broadcasts. That mixture of signals goes out via FM as a local broadcast that you can tune into on 107.1 FM. So Matty Leach is a Wellington-based artist who um, I visited in the first stages of the research for this project. I had seen a lot of documentation of their work. A lot of their work is, in a sense, ephemeral. It's around actions um, within situations. It's quite conceptual. And so many conversations people had, particularly closer to the uh, in the aftermath of the quakes, there's all this imaginative desire to be elsewhere. And she wanted to really play with that and, and take that elsewhere to the nth degree, really. So her elsewhere was out of space. It gradually worked itself into the current form of the project. Along the way, she invited a collaborator, Jim Noble, who's quite an extraordinary British artist working with sound and film. And with the support of the archives, I've come up with all sorts of um, material that kind of relates to the history of Christchurch. Part of the idea was to look at recordings made in buildings now gone so absent spaces, but then they moved beyond that. It was also to just think about things that maybe reflected a Christchurch that is gone. Maybe it's even the sort of social or political or sort of state of the city that's changed irrevocably post-earthquakes. And it really occurred to me that there was, a, there was a sense of where if you, you know, if you're here and you can't leave, where, where is it imaginatively that, that you might transport yourself to? And so choosing the space station you know, it's an absurd gesture in itself in some ways, you know, there are places that are further away from, from Christchurch than Space Station, but it's actually perceived as being at a great distance. Well, one of the, the great resources in this work are these wonderful recordings from the New Zealand Sound Archive. Having that here, having those voices emerging from the past in that way, in this a attempt to contact uh, the Space Station, I hope that what people get from that is, is a prompt to think about the texture of the city, the history of the city um, in, in the present and, and to use that as a frame for thinking about um, what it might be. I think people might leave with going, you know, I wonder if they will actually talk to an astronaut <laughs> and I think that's a great thing to be left wondering.